2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So the way of truth is evil spoken of. Again, our people despise the truth. That's why when you read that Isaiah joint, tell us lies, prophesy false things, give us deceit. Because the way of truth is evil spoken of. The Messiah never sinned a day in his life. And they killed him. Because he walked that way. He spoke the Father's true name. And they hated him for that. So how do we get back on the right way? On the path? That's the answer. How do we get back to that? We're going to find out the reason that Adam and Eve was actually kicked out of the garden. Let's get on Matthew 22 and 16. How do we get back on the right path? The book of Matthew chapter 22 and verse 16. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians saying, Master, we know that you are true and teaches the way of the Most High. And teaches what? And teaches the way of the Most High. Who is this they're speaking of? Hamashiach. They're speaking of Hamashiach. Read that from the top again. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians saying, Master, we know that you are true and teaches the way of the Most High in truth. So he teaches the way of the Most High in truth. Remember that. He teaches the way. It's a certain way. So if the kingdom is somewhere, it's a way to get to it. We got to find out how to get back to it since Adam and Eve originally got us off the path with the original sin. Let's go to Exodus 23 and 23. See if old and new line up. The book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 20. Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way. To do what? To keep you in the way. To keep you in the way. Go back. We got a lesson called, the who is the angel of the Lord? We'll show you that this is Hamashiach right here as well. It says to do what? I send an angel before you to keep you in the way. To keep you in the way. <clears throat> So even back then, he was the one that was keeping us in the way. But our people are still super duper wicked. Want to do what they want to do. Don't want to follow. Let's get Mark 10 and 52. The book of Mark, chapter 10 and verse 52. And Yahushua said unto him, Go your way. Go your what? Go your way. Go your way. Your faith has made you whole. So he's just healed somebody, but or actually his faith have healed somebody. But let's see what this guy does. <coughs> Read. And immediately he received his sight and followed Yahushua in the way. He did what? And followed Yahushua in the way. So right here, this man got his sight did what? He followed Yahushua in the way. So he started walking with him. Not just walking with him, but walking that way. We're going to show y'all what that way is sooner or later. Get Jump down to verse 17. Back to verse 17. Verse 17. And when he was going forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may have eternal life? What shall I do that I may have eternal life? Now, I'm sure all people, no matter your beliefs or what it is, most of us want eternal life. Most of us want eternal life without a shadow of a doubt. But we lost it. Let's see how. Let's go back over what we got right there. And let's go back to Genesis 3. We 
we're going to jump three and I uh, think we're going to start at verse uh, 22 Genesis 3 and 22 and the most I said behold the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. To know good and evil, read. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat and live forever. Therefore the Most High sent him forth from the garden of Eden. Read that verse again. Therefore the Most High sent him forth from the garden of Eden. No, read that one before that. Verse 22. And the Most High said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now... Lest he put forth his hand. Now lest he put forth his hand and do what? And take also of the tree of life. Take from the tree of life. That's the key right there. This is why they were kicked out. Read. And eat and live forever. Eat from the tree of life and live forever. That's where we lost our quote unquote immortality at right there. Because he kicked them out. Not, but not off as just a sin. But so he couldn't eat from the tree of life. We Therefore, Yahuwah sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from where he was taken. Go ahead. So he drove out the man and placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. To keep what? To keep the way of the tree of there we go again with the same wording to keep the way of the tree of life. So let's find out who the tree of life is. Now notice it says he placed cherubims around him. Right? That's a key little word right there. He put cherubims around him to guard the way of the tree of life. Let's go to Psalms 99 and 1. Psalms 99 and 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 99 and verse 1. Yahuwah reigneth. Let the people tremble. Yahuwah reigneth. Let the people tremble. Read. He sits between the cherubim. He sits between who? He sits between the cherubim. He sits between the cherubims. This is key. He just told you that cherubims guard the tree of life, right? Finish that out. Let the earth be moved. So we know somebody, that same tree, must be sitting between these cherubims. <laughs> Let's go back to where we are. Uh, well, I think it was in uh, Mark 10, 10 and 17. Because if you eat from the tree of life, you have what? Life. Eternal life. Read that again. The book of Mark, chapter 10 and verse 17. And when he was going forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? That I may inherit eternal life. So again, if you eat from the tree of life, you get eternal life. Let's see, how do we get it? Go to Revelations 2 and 7. Book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 7. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the congregations. To him that overcomes. To him that overcomes. See, all the devices that the wicked one sets in place, if you can overcome them, what will happen? To him that overcomes will I give to eat of the tree of life. So, you got to overcome all of this evil, the money, the sports, the women, the cars, all of these things that the adversary puts in place, if you overcome do what you told me how to walk this way. She told me to walk this way. To eat from the tree of life. 
That's the way you get eternal life. But it's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to do. Let's get Matthew 7 and 13. Because everybody is against you when you're trying to do this walk. Your family turn their back on you. That's hard for a lot of our people when they turn from this way and say, you know what, I'm just going to go back to church. You know, God know my heart. They start back with the madness. And that's sad, man. Read. Matthew 7 and 13. Enter you in at the straight gate. Enter you in at the straight gate. Gate. That got to be a uh, pastor. What's his name? Pastor Ellison in church. <laughs> Don't they got drink called Straight Gate? But, but we know that that ain't it. Not at all. <laughs> because that's a mega church. Phenomenal, huge joint. Read. Enter you in at the straight gate. Enter you in at the straight gate. Read. For wide is the gate and broad is the way. For wide is the gate. Now, most of our people think with logic. They say, why? It, this got to be right. right. You mean to tell me that he got thousands and thousands of members? He drives Bentleys and he got a jet? And you trying to tell me that the Lord ain't blessing him? And he not with him? That is the broad way. Even if we just do off man's ways. Christianity is the largest religion on the face of the earth. That's broad. This is just basic. Read that again. Enter you in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. So broad is the way. So the bigger it is, the more you probably want to avoid it. Read. And many there be which go in there. And if you think you can turn me out, baby, I wish that you would. Cause you keep telling me this and telling me that. Once I'm with you, I'll never go back You say there's a lesson that you want to teach Well, here I am, baby Practice what you preach Read on Because straight is the gate Because straight is the gate, read And narrow is the way And narrow is, see that? Again, and narrow is the way That do what? Which leads unto life and few there be that find and it. few be that that's gonna find this way because our people don't want the way they like the broadness again we was walking on a uh, we was walking clockwise with the whole world and one day we saw wait a minute this ain't right we got off that thing that ferris wheel and, and start walking counterclockwise and the whole world look at us like complete fools. You see them? They walk in the wrong way. No, you walk in the wrong way. That's exactly what our people doing. They following the broad way because it seems right. Let's go back to the APOC. Second Ezra 7 and 6. Book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 7 and verse 6. There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field. A city is built and set upon a broad field, read. And it's full of all good things. So this sounds like a place that we want to be at. It's got all good things. How do we get there, read? The entrance thereof is narrow. The entrance is what? Is narrow. It's not broad? Is narrow. It is narrow. Dang, so it's kind of hard to get there, right? Read. And it and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand. Fire on the right hand, what? And on the left, a deep water. So you got fire on one hand and deep water on the... Sound like, wait a minute. So the flood happened in the beginning. That's water and... The second judgment going to be what? Fire. Fire. Mm. So it's narrow to get to this place. Read. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water. So small that there could but one man go there at, at once. Oh my goodness. So 
this way to this good place, it's a narrow path to get there. Only one person at a time can go. Man, but it sounds easy to get to the broad way, right? Mm -hmm. Just do what everybody else doing. Forget these laws. Forget trying to walk that way. <laughs> and you can go to this other place. Is that it on that? You want to keep going with it? You know, up go ahead. Okay. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before him, how shall he receive this inheritance? So how shall he receive this inheritance? We want this inheritance. So we know we got to walk this walk and go through this danger. Again, we got to just overcome this wicked world. But again, how do we get back to this place? Let's get John 14 and 6. The book of John chapter 14 and verse 6. So we know this thing is about laws, statutes, commandments. The Messiah came to be the Torah in the flesh. That's what a lot of people don't understand. He came to show us that we actually can keep these laws. Now we got our, these older people who just repeating stuff that these pastors have told them and say, he know it was too hard to keep this stuff. He know it was too hard for us to keep these old laws, these old statutes and these commandments. When he told us that my laws are not grievous. Read this. John 14 and 6. Yahushua says unto him, I am the way. I am what? I am the way. He said, I am the way. Remember, all these times we done read in here it said the way. The way. He just told you, I am the way. We, the truth and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. We, no man comes unto the Father but by me. No man comes to the Father but by me. Now we got all these people who despise Hamashiach. They disrespect him all day. Anyway, it's a gorilla talking, but anyway. talks about one of the points it brings out is one of the it's mistakes that, that there is only one way to live That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world, that there are millions of ways and, and many ways, no, but many paths no to what you call God. That and her crazy. path might be something else, and when she gets there, she might call it the light. But her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. And I guess the danger that could be in that, I mean, it, it sounds great on the onset, but if you really look at both sides, I there could person. possibly be just one way. What, what about Jesus? What about Jesus? only one way. There is one way and only one way and there that is through Jesus. Jesus. There couldn't possibly be with because a million you of people. Say there could possibly be. Because you say, you intellectualize it and say there isn't. If no. you don't believe that, you're all buying into the lie. But that makes you right. Do you so, think... Uh, Old Testament versus New Testament. They call him J.C. all day and disrespect him to the court. That faggot, that's this, that, I mean, uh, it, man, if I was in these guys' presence, I might lose it. He just told you, there's no way to the Father but by me. So if you follow him, guess where you're going? To the Father. Also, you got right to eat from the tree of life. He is the tree. Let's get, um... John 6. John 6 and verse 47. The book of John, chapter 6 and verse 47. Truly, truly, I say to you, he that believes on me has everlasting life. Wait a minute. That's the same thing. If you eat from the, if you eat from the tree, what do you get? Everlasting life. Everlasting life. You get eternal life. Read. Truly, truly, I say to you, he that believes on me has everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. Really? This is the bread which comes down from Shamaim, that a man may eat thereof 
And not die. And not do what? And not die. And not die. So, if they would have believed, Adam and Eve would have believed them in the, from the get-go, they would have never died. They would have never got tricked. But they wanted this false wisdom. But if you would have just believed, you would have had everlasting life. And they never would have died. Just like he told them. If just don't eat from this tree. The day that you eat from this one, the day that you take this information, you shall surely die. Go ahead, read. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. He shall live forever. We want to live forever. Read. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Read. The Israelites therefore fought among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Yahushua said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Now they didn't get what he was saying. They actually think like he's talking about actually biting him and eating on him. But that's just plain foolishness. Read. Whoso eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. A verse you were. Verse 54. Go ahead. And I will raise him up at the last day. I will do what? I will raise him up at the last day. I will raise day. him up at the last day. Jump down to verse 60. Verse 60. Many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? So his disciples, like that seven, some of them seven, he was like, uh, wait a minute, man. You say eat your flesh? Drink your blood? Wait a minute. The Torah say don't do that. But they didn't have, they was of little understanding. Read. When Yahushua knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said to them, does this offend you? Do, what I'm saying, does this offend you? Are you offended? Read. What in it? You shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before. <laughs> so what, you, what if you see me go back up? <clears throat> Read. It is the spirit that quickens. It's the spirit that quickened him. It ain't the flesh. He wasn't talking about eating him. Which them silly dummies in that group <coughs> always talking about. See that? He talking about eating his body. You idiots. Read. The flesh profits nothing. The flesh profits nothing. Read. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. The words that I speak to you are spirit and a life. Them words that the serpent spoke to Adam and Eve was spirit and death. Mm -hmm. So he was the other tree. Satan was one tree, and he was, and he was the tree of life. Read. But there are some of you that believe not, for Yahushua knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you. That no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. Unless it was given unto him of my father. Read. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. So, it's just so happened. I don't know if they designed it like this. But this is John 6 and 66. <laughs> 6, 6, 6. For that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. So if they didn't no more walk with him, where are they going? To the lake. He's the way. He the one's going to give you the right to eat from the tree of life. He is the tree of life. Mm. How are they going to get there? They going to the lake. It's sad to say because they didn't walk that walk no more. They stopped. They forsook the walk. Oh, man. This, this guy crazy. You know what I'm saying? They people were already getting on him. This guy didn't want me to bury my daddy, man. Right. This guy tell me, he told my man to, to sell all this stuff, you know, and, and come after me. If you go after him, where are you going? Because he... He on the right path. Give Revelation 2 and 7 again. It's good to say, mark the perfect man and follow him. Exactly. 
the book of Revelations, chapter 2 and verse 7. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the congregations. To him that overcomes, will I give to eat of the tree of life. So, if you overcome all of this stuff, your family talking about you, doing this to you, and saying all these things about you, if you overcome, you can get to eat from the tree of life. Let's get this last clip. Isaiah 44 and 25. This for you smarties. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 25. That frustrates the tokens of the liars. And I started the verse before that. Verse 24. Thus saith Yahuwah, your Redeemer, and he that formed you from the womb. I, Yahuwah, that makes all things, that stretch forth the heavens alone, that spread abroad the earth by myself, that frustrate the tokens of the liars. That frustrate the tokens of the liars. Read. It makes diviners mad. That turns wise men backwards. Turn wise men backwards. All you dummies who thinking you done done something. I'm going into my chakras. I'm a god now. I can do all of these things. Read. And make of their knowledge foolish. Make their knowledge foolish. Read. That confirms the word of his servant. And performs the counsel of his messengers that says to Jerusalem, you shall be inhabited. And to the cities of, of Yahudah, you shall be built. And I will raise up the decayed places thereof. That says to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up your rivers. So right here we see these people going to get their wisdom turned around on them. Because they want to go into the chakras and all of this stuff and I can get in a room and do yoga and hum and I got this wisdom that's straight foolishness I said that was the last but this the last one say they want to go all the way around what he say do and do their own thing Isaiah 30 and 1 Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1 woe to the rebellious children saith the most high that takes counsel but not of me that take counsel but not of me, read. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So all these people that's going into the chakras and I'm doing these things, you taking counsel with somebody else, but not of the most high. And you're going to end up somewhere that you don't want to end up at. Walking the opposite way. The Messiah is the way to get to the Father. He is the way to eternal life because we lost it. And with that, we hope y'all got some understanding. Shalom. Shalom.